What's up guys, I'm James, and welcome back to The Great Gambino Watch Reviews. I have owned my Omega Speedmaster for over a year, and I have finally made a noticeable scratch in the Hesalite. For the sake of this YouTube channel, I am going to take you through the steps of removing scratches with a product called PolyWatch. Let's go over some of the supplies you will need. I suggest having a soft surface so you do not scratch your watch. For this tutorial, I will be using a leather mat that was provided to me by the DIY Watch Club from last week's build video, painter's tape to protect the bezel, a microfiber cleaning cloth, and the PolyWatch polish. This particular kit came with a microfiber cloth plus buffing tool, and it is pretty affordable, around $10 if you are in the States. I will also be using my phone's stopwatch for 5 minutes so I do not over or under buff. After prolonged wear, you can expect tiny little scratches throughout the Hesalite that are mainly noticeable in direct sunlight. However, if you scuff the piece hard enough, it will leave a more visible mark such as the one you see within the ring light reflection here. If you are worried about buffing out the tiny Omega logo in the center of the watch, I have learned during research that it is actually at the bottom of the glass and it is highly unlikely you will buff it away. Before we get started, I'm going to wipe down everything as clean as possible with a microfiber watch cloth. Next, I will begin to use the painter's tape working it around the bezel, making sure each section is completely covered. Once you are satisfied, it's time to begin. Squeeze a small amount of polywatch onto the center of the Hesalite and gently begin polishing the crystal in a circular motion. Now is also when you should set your stopwatch. Halfway in, I switched over and decided to try using the buffing tool they provided, and I feel it works pretty well. Once the buffing process is complete, I used a lens wipe to remove excess residue and then gave it one final wipe down with a microfiber cloth. Let's take a look at the results. As I play with the studio lights, you will see that there are no noticeable scratches and the big one at the 10 o'clock has been completely removed. Getting a little closer in with the macro lens, everything appears much sharper and reminds me of how it looked the day I brought it home from Feldmars here in Los Angeles. Here's a post shot of that center Omega logo and as you can tell, it has not changed at all. In closing, I want to point out that when I was getting ready to purchase a Speedmaster, the Hesalite concerned me. The stories online led me to believe my Hesalite Speedy would start looking pretty scuffed up within a few days. I can say, at least in my personal experience, most of the scratches are so tiny that you cannot see them unless they are blasted with light at extreme angles. It took over a year for me to finally get a noticeable scratch that motivated me to even purchase the PolyWatch. And after using this product, I have learned that it is very easy to fix. Keep in mind, I am gentle with my watches, and other people's experience may differ. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it helpful, and I will see you in the next one.